Welcome back to The Buzz. Let's get started with an update on some pop culture news you should know. Lady Gaga's new album, Joanne, comes out tomorrow, but some little monsters were able to get an early listen. Fans in Belgium posted photos of the album sale on stores and social media, and the album was reportedly leaked online. Fans are freaking out. The album is first to be released by Gaga in three years and is a tribute to her father's sister, who died at 19 from lupus. Not all of the feedback surrounding Gaga's first album, um, her fifth album, has been positive. In an interview with Rolling Stone earlier this month, the chain smokers Alex Paul commented on Gaga's lead Joanne single, Perfect Illusion, saying, it sucks. Um, Gaga fired back this week, though, tweeting the duo directly uh, with a quote, maybe guys, you guys will like this one better, with a link to her new song, Ayo. Not everyone's going to like your songs, though. I mean, that's just something you have to accept as a singer. Absolutely. The one thing I can say about Lady Gaga is I think she's definitely transformed as a music artist. You know, 10 years or so ago, you see her as an edgy pop star, trendy, just kind of mm -hmm. trying to grow her image and grow herself. But now a lot of her music is being inspired by social events that's just going on in the world and uh, personal events yeah. as well. Yeah, and I think it's a really nice transition into a less dramatic, super pop, art pop kind of mm -hmm. feel and a little bit more old school rock and roll country. It's a pretty good look and I'm excited to see what yeah, she does I'm excited to in listen the Super to Bowl. It. Yeah. Nintendo gave us a first look at its new Switch console in a teaser trailer released today. The Nintendo Switch will be a hybrid handheld portable device that doubles up as a home gaming console. Here's a preview of what to expect. All right, I gotta ask guys, two questions. Did you play video games as a kid? And what do you think of this? I did play video games as a kid. I had a DS, a Nintendo DS. Yeah. So I am a fan of Nintendo. It looks pretty interesting, but I don't know what makes this any different than anything else I that's out there. I don't recall playing any video games as a kid. <laughs> I was more of a TV watcher, but I thought it was pretty cool that you can kind of slide it in, take it to go. Yeah. It was that, but it was it always mobile? I mean, it's a nice combination of combining a home gaming console with something that you can take on the go, but I don't really see there being any benefit to just having a, or, you know, back in the, the olden days of 2004, having a, a Game Boy and then a PlayStation or something. They, they're combining the two, which is a good idea. I'm just not sure it's going to get off the ground like they want yeah, it to. Well, we'll have to see. Viewers will do the time warp again tonight with Fox's remake of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The 1975 cult classic is reimagined by director Kenny Ortega for a new generation. And it stars Laverne Cox in the iconic role of Dr. Frankenfurter. So what do you guys think about this? I wish that they did it live. I know they taped it beforehand, so I, I, love, I love the live action. I love action. live action. Mm -hmm. A lot of Disney's new live action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Obvious. this one would be like live musical theater, which is awesome. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. But I think it's really exciting. Just that, like the Grease live that they did. Mm -hmm. I think it's really exciting that Kenny Ortega is doing the reboot. He's dips his foot in so many different aspects of you know musical theater mm -hmm. and films. He did High School Musical, you know, which is yeah. obviously yes. so much different. That from might be his best piece of work to date. <laughs> well, he loves in your this opinion. One. In your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave you with the clip of the reboot. If you're watching tonight, let us know your thoughts on our Facebook page or tweet us at USC The Buzz. Later, Buzz's Judy and Wandu and Eric Russell will be giving you your under the radar news on Low Key.